Good morning. Gentle woman, quiet light, morning star so strong and bright, gentle mother, peaceful dove, teach us wisdom, teach us love. You were chosen by the Father, you were chosen for the Son, you were chosen from all women, and for women, shining one. Gentle woman, quiet light, morning star, so strong and bright. Gentle mother, peaceful dove, teach us wisdom, teach us love. Let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My friends, to celebrate this Mass worthily, let us first take a moment and ask God to forgive us for our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Hear in kindness, O Lord, the prayers of your people, that those who rejoice at the coming of your only begotten Son in our flesh may, when at last he comes in glory, gain the reward of eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Zephaniah. Shout for joy, O daughter Zion. Sing joyfully, O Israel. Be glad and exult with all your heart, O daughter Jerusalem. The Lord has removed the judgment against you. He has turned away your enemies. The King of Israel, the Lord, is in your midst. You have no further misfortune to fear. On that day, it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear not, O Zion, be not discouraged. The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty Savior. He will rejoice over you with gladness and renew you in his love. He will sing joyfully because of you, as one sings at festivals. The Word of the Lord. Exult, you just in the Lord. Sing to him a new song. Exult, you just in the Lord. Sing to him a new song. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. With the ten-stringed lyre, chant his praises. Sing to him a new song. Pluck the strings skillfully with shouts of gladness. Exult you just in the Lord. Sing to him a new song. But the plan of the Lord stands forever, the design of his heart through all generations. Blessed, the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. Exalt you just in the Lord. Sing to him a new song. 
Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. For in him our hearts rejoice. In his holy name we trust. Exalt, you just, in the Lord. Sing to him a new song. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Mary set out in those days and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leapt in her womb. And Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leapt for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. The Gospel of the Lord. After a long, tiring trip, the young woman arrives at the home of her cousin, who's quite a bit older. She's come to care for her, who despite her years is expecting a child. The young woman is pregnant as well, a pregnancy as unexpected as her older cousins. For the younger woman, her impending motherhood is filled with fear and anxiety. For the older woman, her joy at this unexpected grace knows no end. For both mothers-to-be, it's a time of vulnerability, every action Every decision is made in light of the child. Is it safe for me to do this? Would it harm my child if I eat that? They walk on eggshells as they struggle through the tasks of their days with their ever-expanding girths. For both mothers-to-be, it is a time of anxious waiting and sacrifice. In the end, they'll remember their nine-month confinement as nothing, their painful labor hardly worth talking about. Every ache, every pain, every sacrifice fades into the light of this marvelous gain, this precious and irreplaceable child. For both mothers-to-be, life's center has shifted from her own hopes and dreams to those of the child in her womb. For both mothers-to-be, God has touched their lives in the child within them. The meeting of Mary and Elizabeth in today's gospel is a beautiful portrait of the meaning of this Advent season. Their approaching motherhood echoes Advent's invitation to embrace the joy and fulfillment that can only be found beyond ourselves, finding God in others, to seek the holy rather than the ephemeral and mundane, to embrace life's challenges and hard work as the only path to building a life worth living. May Mary and Elizabeth and the Marys and Elizabeths among us be signs 
of God's loving presence amid whatever fears, doubts, and sense of unworthiness hold us back from him, our loving God. United in one voice, we offer God our prayers and the prayers of all the church. That we in the church may imitate the example of the humility of the saints, seeing all in need as Christ before us to be served, let us pray to the Lord. That all called to speak God's truth to our, to our modern world on behalf of the powerless, be given the gift of bravery and protection in their efforts. Let us pray to the Lord. That those in our parish community may grow in faith as we use our talents and voices to serve as credible ambassadors in Christ's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. That the faithful departed may rest in peace in the arms of Christ and his mother Mary. Let us pray to the Lord. For peace in the world, for our parish family, for our troops, for an end to abortion and euthanasia, for the ill of our parish, especially those on our prayer list, let us pray to the Lord. For Walter J. Relohan, for him this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. In a moment of silence, let us present to God all of our intentions. We pray to the Lord. And we bring all these prayers to our loving God as we pray through the intercession of our Blessed Mother, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of him, and hence it will become for us the bread of life. <clears throat> By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Frank our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us now pray together in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us now share this peace with one another. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Lord, may participation in this divine mystery provide enduring protection for your people so that being subject to your glorious majesty in dedicated service, they may know abundant health in mind and body. Through Christ our Lord, amen. And the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. This Mass is ended. Let us now go in peace. Have a beautiful day. Thank you. Sing of Mary, pure and lowly, Virgin Mother, her undefiled. Sing of God's own Son, most holy, who became her little child. Fairest child of fairest mother, God the Lord who came to earth, Lord made flesh our very brother, takes our nature by his birth.